Hey, good morning, guys. It is yours truly, Alex, here. Yes, you are looking at my channel dashboard. Any of you that have a YouTube channel like me, making videos, this is typically what you see here. You're looking at the exact number of current subscribers. I hit 1,200 subscribers um, a couple days ago, but that doesn't really matter to me. My next goal is 2,000, and there is the latest video I posted this morning. So uh, I had this um, had I had this idea in mind to um, you know today is the second last day of the year as you can see right there there's the current date and time Friday December thirtieth twenty twenty two and there's a as I just mentioned it is exactly eleven thirty a.m. here in my city of Toronto Ontario Canada where I was born and raised um <laughs> I only woke up like what two hours ago I was gonna do this video earlier but. I was I kind of wanted to eat some breakfast, and, um, and I don't feel like sharing my face yet, so, because uh, I just want to, like, see how I look, but... So, um, you guys may remember, half a year ago, it was back in June, I did a, I did a, a video where I went for my analytics, so at that time, I, I did this June 27th, so that was the day after I graduated from high school, and you can pretty much tell the difference. I was at 822 subscribers that day. And now here I am, over 1,200. I actually knew I would get to 1,000 subs by like year's end. But, uh, words cannot describe how uh, the support for my channel is just, it's just overwhelming. It's amazing. And even a lot of the other Toronto YouTubers out there that do, that, 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 that do this like me, they're giving me plugs and giving me shout outs and all that. And, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, uh, the amount of support is just amazing. I can't thank you guys. And I'm going to say that again uh, at the end of the video. But uh, just like uh, half a year ago, I'm going to go through my analytics. It's the very end of the year, and there's a lot to look back on and uh, and reflect. Because 2022, it's for me, in my opinion, it's, it was a great year. It's better than the last two. And the fact that we weren't in, uh, under uh, friggin' COVID restrictions. <laughs> Life was normal. Even though there's already a lot of people I know that have got COVID, and but for those that are probably new to this channel or never seen my videos before, hell no, I have not gotten I have not gotten COVID yet. So, uh, <laughs> although there are actually some times that I feel like I get sick, but in the end, I, I I just recover. Although the only time I ever felt sick in the pandemic was just was actually back in April before I went to Montreal. I had like a typical common cold, so even some people are still getting that. Anyway, enough of that. So we're gonna go through. Um, how my analytics are. So we're going to start off with this here. I'm going to the tab. And I, as someone with autism, I'm highly obsessed with like statistics and stuff. I really like to know like like what, what uh, sources generate from people, like where they're watching from and stuff. As I mentioned before in a lot of videos, it's crazy how I have, how I have people watching from um, Japan, South Korea, Australia, Europe, Brazil, and all that. But... So I got 51,000 views in the past 28 days. So this is ranging from December 2nd to yesterday's day. And here's the live count of subscribers. What really concerns me is that the amount of subscribers, it's like typically lags. Like sometimes I gain subscribers and then I get, and then I lose a few. Like for example, I was at 1180 and then I was like down 1176. Gone. That concerned me. So going to... Exactly a year ago, December 30th, I was at 5.58, and it literally took, like, what, half a year to get to uh, this point here, 8.22, and here we are, over a thousand subs, getting, we're just not there yet to 1,500, but I suspect by next year, like in 2023, I get 2,000 subs, probably like ended that year. But hopefully by the time I hit 2,000 subs, Line 5 Eglinton will finally be opening. Oh my god. What a frustrating uh, thing to like, go through, you know, as someone living near Eglinton and the, and the friggin' LG line hasn't even opened yet. Jeez. But uh, either way, subscribers have been pretty much uh, going up in general, even though like sometimes I feel like it's fluctuating and watch time is the same as usual. And unfortunately, I don't know why... See, you guys are seeing my uh, revenue there. I I apologize. Like, uh, but however, this is not the exact amount of of, of uh, money I make on uh, 
YouTube. It's, it's, it's estimated, so it's not really exact. So I'm, I'm gonna try not to uh, show you guys that. Here's my con here's my top content this period. Look at this. I didn't expect the uh, Union Station video from last year to uh, to uh, um, blow up. And same thing with one of my first long format videos where I just went across Toronto on the TTC, all four subway lines. And then uh, this year, third time getting the um, um, catching the LRT vehicles on the street, which, by the way, that video kind of got demonetized because I said shit at the beginning of the video, so that is something I have to deal with. And look, other top videos, too. It's it's crazy. Now, let's, let's, let's go to the uh, lifetime and see. So, overall, this is what I have. 785,000 views. Over 1,200... <laughs> almost showing the uh, revenue there. But uh, going down... This is the top content. So this is the this is by far my most popular video on the channel, and it surpassed this year, uh, one of my first subway ride videos, and this one like well, that was when I had like the 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 gimbal January 9th when I'm the during the uh, COVID lockdown restrictions, and even the OC transport video on the O train, that generated a lot of views. It, it's just crazy, and even a few of my videos from this year like. I'm back in October when I caught the LRT testing for the first time. It's generally like a thousand views like a week. And uh, here's my uh, recent content. Right there. It's, it's not really showing. Oh yeah, it is showing the videos from. It's just showing like 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 um, by view and uh, and stuff. Sometimes the walking videos don't get a whole lot of views, but lately they've really been getting to like. Over 100 views, even though the transit videos just they, they just get a, way, way, way more. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go out um, after I have my lunch and uh, probably film on. Uh, I'm probably gonna head to Scarborough and film a walking video and one bus ride. Let's go back to the. Um, I don't think I set this. Oh, look, there we go. So, key moments for audience retention. I don't really pay attention to that stuff because. A lot of people, they just click on at the beginning of the video, and then, like, five minutes later, they just, like, click off. Look at this. How viewers find your videos? For browse features, YouTube search, channel pages, that's probably typical. Let's say there's a difference for the last 28 days. Okay, not bad. Uh, audience. Because I always wonder, like, like, who's watching my videos, and, like, where are you watching from? So, yeah, look, look, these are the videos that grew mostly the, the Line 5 Eglinton vehicles videos, they're just, they're just getting, they're just getting, like, a huge amount of views, it's, it, it's, it's just crazy, man. And I bet you, when, when Line 5 finally opens in less than a year, next year for sure, my video's probably gonna get, like, what, friggin' 10,000 views? That's what I expect. First 7 days video performance. Yeah, so the biggest ones, they just get a lot. And um, here's uh, some channels that uh, my viewers, uh, my audience watches. And probably most of these uh, you guys are familiar with. Arm Transit, I watch them a lot. Same thing with Johnny Strides and Ken Continue. By the way, Ken watches his channel. Congrats on hitting 10,000 subs and uh, DJ Hammer's train. So Johnny and Ken, they're respectively both uh, great, amazing YouTubers who... Just go around the city like me, except I get around. I get. I'm not trying to be like judgmental, but I go. I get around a way a lot more than them, mainly because you know Johnny and Ken. They, they do like a lot of like downtown videos and even in the old city. But uh, yeah, I watch these guys. City beautiful, real, real fans. Walking lady, I watch her too. Transit thinker. I don't about yours truly, Lizzo C. Yes, yes. She's also a viewer of this channel. I met her three months ago at the uh, Ukraine festival. Uh, Johnny Stumbles, that's the, uh, that's Johnny's, uh, other account. Wow, that's crazy. So that's, like, in the past 28 days. I don't think anything's gonna change if I click Lifetime, though. Yeah, no nothing changes. Nothing changes. What about videos I, the, the audience watches? Oh, at least half of these videos. I saw this one. I saw this one. By the way, a lot of you guys... Are that <laughs> I mentioned this before. A lot of you guys that watch my channel, you guys are also a lot of you guys are also viewers of Johnny Strides and Ken. 
Um, I used to be like very, very like known, very well known in the chats, like, but uh, not as much anymore because you know I'm so busy with school and uh, and uh, YouTube. But very, very occasionally, I just come in and say hi. So yeah, I watched this video. This really like very interested me. I didn't see this one. Yeah, most of the most of the other videos my audience watches are from Johnny and Ken. So that just that pretty much like makes a whole lot of sense why a lot of you viewers come from Johnny and Ken. And typically, I don't really like get concerned about this, but maybe I should. A lot of my viewers, you're not even subscribed to my channel. Look, look here. Not subscribe, eighty one percent, and subscribe eighteen point five. Well, yes, the, I I still see a lot of the comments from same people who um who watch my stuff. Okay, let me just change it back to twenty eight days, and yeah, look there, it, it it's changed. Male, female. So a lot of people have. So not a lot of people have enabled YouTube notifications for like when I drop a video. Whereas some or whereas people turn on all notifications for my channel. I can't tell if that's for um I don't know if it's for like occasional notifications. I don't know, but I'm in this age group right here. I'm a zoomer, so definitely a lot of younger people my age that are watching these videos, especially like uh, millennials and fewer Gen Xers here have been watching them, and baby boomers. Actually, let's check the lifetime now and see. Okay, so millennials and early Gen Xer and late Gen Xers um, get um, the most. I'm on 365 days now, so from like last year, like exactly a year ago. I don't think it really makes sense if I go through that though. So we're just gonna go back to 28 days. And here are the geographies. This is like I'm very interested. Like, like where is everybody watching from? Of course, I'm based here in Canada, so of course, a lot of my viewers come from Canada, United States, United Kingdom, ooh, Mexico, France, India. So what is it? Top three, four, five. Okay, well, India is in gray, but the ones in color. That's like the top five uh, um, geographies are like watching in my videos. So go to 365 days. What the difference is. Okay, so top three, Canada, US, UK, but then we got Pakistan and India. And then Lifetime, we got... We pretty much got the same here. Oh, so Pakistan and India have reached like a thousand views, and Brazil, Japan, they're just might as well getting there. Alright, and, and, and look look at this, look, look. I don't know why this, this, this kind of like dropped. I don't know, maybe it's the algorithm, you know, sometimes they messed up a bit, but... That's something we're used to. Traffic search. S s ugh, I said that wrong. And cities. Okay, go back to um, last 28 days. Yeah, so uh, a lot of you, ugh, a lot of you guys watch my channel are fellow Torontonians. And of course, you got um, uh, people from Mississauga, Oshawa, Whitby, Vancouver, Ottawa, Hamilton. Yeah, a lot of you guys are watching this. I'm pretty sure, like, over half of you guys are watching this from Ontario, so... Still, I really appreciate that, to see, like, like other fellow Torontonians, like, watching me, what I do, even if they can't, um, do this themselves, what I don't feel like going out and stuff. That's why a lot of these YouTubers, they do a lot of these, you know, these walking videos and transit videos, because a lot of people, even during COVID, they can't get out in such times, you know? Yeah, look, 182k from Toronto, and then, yeah, top five, they're all in the GTA, that's crazy. Actually, no, except for Ottawa, but... But, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Even, even my cousin Richard's been telling me, you know, the channel's been, uh... Um, blowing up here, as I'm... Checking the time once again. Yeah, anyway. And I don't think any of these, um... Oh, so this is, like, the amount of, uh... Like... How much views I've been getting, like watch hours. Look, the reason why there's a huge spike in that is because um, last year I posted a video where I walked around Kipling Station, and I did not, I did not expect that to reach like five thousand views. That's crazy. And then of course there are other videos I posted this year that got like over two thousand views as well. So, see, look, look, look. Winter twenty twenty one and two twenty two. Well, the views were kind of down because I was—I mean, I was doing videos, but it wasn't a lot because of COVID and stuff. 
then I was busy with school, then slowly, like it's spring and summer, the views slowly went back up. And they slightly went down, but the views are just pretty good. Um, either way, so... That's in the light time, uh... And, uh... Research, I don't understand, uh... Okay, well sometimes I do this here, look. If I search TTC... Okay, so, yeah, the volume for searching TTC, anything, is, is like, it's, it's so high and stuff. Okay, why don't we, look. Okay, so this is what my viewers search for. Look at this, ASMR, iPhone 14, SkyTrain, 7Train, Via Rail, TTC Subway. Yeah, mostly, um, uh, mostly, like, rapid transit systems in nature, look. Mostly all based in Toronto. Scarborough Town Center, Scarborough RT, My Way Bus. Montreal Airport, even though I've never actually been to Montreal, <laughs> the, the airport there before. Why don't we search up here? No. Since everybody comes from Johnny Strides, and I plug this channel way too many times, let's see here. Oh man, that is high. That is so high. Oh man. Okay, um, what about walking, uh... What about walking Toronto? Let's see here. Toronto walking to your well, I don't really Okay, well it's medium and low, but get around a lot more. What about Elton McFall? He's like one of my biggest inspirations and he watches my channel too. And give my channel a plug. Medium, okay. Alright. That's all I wanted to um And you can say them as well, but ain't gonna do that. But uh is that I think that might be it. Let me check the comments and see if I got new ones here. Oh! I don't know if I've seen this guy before. Normally, like, when I- normally, like, I search up people, like, like- Cause sometimes, like, I get comments and then, like, then for a month, like, they don't comment, and then, like, when- and then, like, this seem familiar. I'm gonna just search this guy up and, uh, uh, see here. Oh, this is the first time. Yeah, so I respond to every single of every single of your comments. Like I, I, I like, like mostly like within like minutes <laughs> or something like that. But uh, the porn, the pornographic ones, which have been in the bots and stuff. Oh my god, I don't give a shit about them. I just get rid of them. And same with people who have other channels and just fish for views. Fuck. Like you can never tell. You can absolutely never tell. But also, there's some comments here that I haven't even responded to yet. Um, response status. It's mainly, like, no, normally I don't like to, like, no, 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 I don't want, not that, I want this. I haven't responded. Yeah, so, like, like, um, uh, <laughs> most of the, like, I try not to leave comments unanswered, but I have left, like, many unanswered because I'm not sure, like, how to answer to that, but it just... Don't like, don't feel like, uh, like deleting and st no, I don't feel like deleting and stuff. If it's like something nasty or anything that just confuses me, I just don't know what to say. I just like get rid of them. Yeah, like a lot of them. There's like some, there's like a lot of uh, comments there that I can't really like understand and stuff, but I'll just answer that right there. I thought of going through my comments in a video, but it's, uh, every day I'm responding to them. Like I'm here like, like every single freaking day. Toilet Brush Salesman is a mod for Lizzo's channel, Lizzo Livestreams, so she... I can't... I don't know if you're a he or a she, but... Shiny I want to touch. This is the video I posted this morning when I, um... When I was filming a vintage uh, Northern Elevator from 1987. Yes, I am an on-and-up elevator enthusiast. So these are very occasional news. Yes, I do have some uh, elevator fans in the... <laughs> as well. But yeah, guys, really appreciate your comments. Um, keep the keep the, keep it up. You're positive, encouraging. Really, it really like m makes me proud to like to um, show you guys that you know I love sharing my passion for transit and the city. And it's crazy that I'm just part of a community that you know vloggers take over Toronto and the because you know it's a big city. I mean, it may be a small world, but it certainly is a very big city, and there's so much to see and do. So, I definitely want to give huge, um, plugs, like, even if you guys never seen those channels before, but, uh, 
Um, but I've met most of these guys before. I met Lizzo, Johnny Strides, Ken Continuum, many others. Um, actually, better thing is, go to my channel here and go to channels here. These are like all the, these are like basically the channels like I watch the most. So like Elton McFall, like I mentioned him many, many times. He gave my channel a plug when I, um, because, <laughs> you know, when I comment on his video and then uh, he, and then he read like my comments aloud and, and he's and I can't believe he watches my videos, uh, and he even and he even left a comment on uh, on one of my walking videos too. Like shortly after um, he posted this video, look there he is, retro old school. I've been watching your videos for many many years. Thank you very much for your support, Elton. And maybe I'll maybe when I go back to Montreal sometime, I'll run into you again. Who knows? Give Elton a plug. Of course, Johnny Strides. I've met him like five six times on videos <laughs> and stuff. Ken, I met him once, and of course, I was just mentioning he hit uh, 10,000. There's a lot of other channels I've been watching. Okay, most of these channels I've been watching for like many years, especially Transmini Ontario. And, ooh, congratulations, Patrice Sunflower. She makes some very insightful comments. Uh, 8,000 subs, congrats to her. And Andrew from the Angry Ontario out of Cambridge, which is in Waterloo region, has given me a lot of plugs. And same with Lizzo and Sapan, Yahia and Nikki, all minor YouTubers who are just starting out. It's crazy. I think I'm. I don't know if I'm competing with Lizzo. I mean, she live streams, but she has like 1,300 subscribers, and I have like 1,200. We've kind of been like in the, the race uh, since uh, I hit a thousand, and of course she, of course she caught up and stuff. So um, and then uh, so normally I post like two videos a day, but since uh, you know I I really look like I've been uh, like <laughs> cranking out those videos and stuff. I've been like posting three, but now it's gonna be four and stuff because I might. I don't even know. I thought of I thought of posting this video like right after this, but um, I think I'm gonna post this tomorrow. Have it fitting because you know tomorrow's New Year's Eve, last day of the year. So, but uh, guys, I think I don't know if I forgot anything. Hopefully, but um, yeah, guys. Um, well, there's my face now. Maybe you guys can see my Toronto Maple Leafs poster because I love the Leafs, but. Um, I want to thank you guys very much for the support in 2022. It's been absolutely amazing. And I can absolutely not wait, whether I'm in school or not, I cannot wait to get back out there making a lot of more videos for you guys. And uh, just my dream is, this is kind of like my half dream to become a content creator like so many uh, other people, you know, fanning transit and walking around, vlogging and just uh, showing you guys what the city is. So it means to me, you know, I'm born and raised in Toronto, so I, you know, I'm young and I like to show my passion. Oh, and a huge, and I met this guy on the subway yesterday. You know, he saw me shooting a, a riot, and uh, he asked me if I was shooting for YouTube. And he told me that he was a content creator himself. So, huge shout out to most amazing if uh, he is a uh, uh, watching this. And of course, a big thank you to all the guys, you know, wishing me luck. You know, my friends, my cousins, and all that stuff. It's. Uh, <laughs> it's it's absolutely overwhelming, especially the guys like Johnny and Ken and Lizzo and uh, and Elton out there who are respected content creators working hard to make the same type of videos like me. Keep it up, you guys, and uh, maybe maybe one day we'll collab. Actually, no, I don't I don't like to use the word collab it's like a very generic term, but get together, make a video together. Well, technically, I've already I already got together with Lizzo and stuff. Maybe that's the only time I did that, but got Johnny and Ken and others. If I, I hope to go back to Montreal next year. Maybe this time when I go to Montreal, I'll cover it extensively. Maybe look up for Elton, since he gets around there too. And um, what else? Maybe New York. I haven't been to the United States yet. Next year, I'm looking forward to going to, to New York. Hopefully, we do that. There's a lot of high expectations for my channel and like what I'm going to do next year. So I really hope I can get to like a little traveling. Even though I haven't, I haven't actually flown. I haven't really been out of the country i've only went to quebec and uh that's it that's all but hopefully next year i get to go out and cover more in the wild as well as more places in ontario and even covering a lot of the big events a lot of people do cover and uh, i need to do a lot more of this stuff so guys um so that is it uh, i want to wish you guys all the best happy new year looking forward to a lot more stuff in 2023 and of course as i always say at the end of each video if you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and uh comment and subscribe if you haven't already and if you really like this really like what i do and want to support the channel you can donate to me on paypal or um uh, super thanks and 
Yeah, I kind of, I kind of see myself、um, YouTube being a full time thing, but this is like part time. It's like my side hustle because I am a student at the University of Toronto. You can literally see I'm wearing a U of T shirt right there. So, well, yeah, guys, um, stay safe. And I don't know if I should say. I don't even know if I should say stay cool or warm. Well, maybe I'll say stay stay warm for those across Canada. But for here in Southern Ontario, it is friggin' warm. And oh no, now my throat's kind of itchy. Oh, oh, hopefully I'm not getting COVID or anything. But thank you so much for the support. I really look forward to everything next year. Keep your positive comments coming, and、uh, just look forward to more. So, guys, have a good rest of your day. Happy New Year! And I'm gonna. Grab some lunch and then I'm gonna head out to film my video or two or who knows. Anyway, hope I didn't forget anything. Take care. Adios. Bye bye. Peace out.